are now tuned to the Gritty Gamer Podcast. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Gritty Gamer Podcast. I'm your host, Curry, joined my good friend and co-host, Vince. What's up? I was going to say it's your cue this time. You know, <laughs> this is the second time we did it. But uh, we got kind of a mixed bag today. We're going over uh, Kojima supposed to make another horror game. Not another, but a horror game this time. A finished, complete product. Um, Redbox got some things going on we're going to talk about. Puma got some gaming socks. I don't know if y'all excited about that. I am. I love yeah. gaming in socks. So what are you gonna do with the game? You know, you go get into it, man. You know, let's start <laughs> off with that thing. Why you you want gaming socks? <laughs> oh no, it's weird. So I never had before. It's called like the power fist, but it's the power socks, the Puma socks. I don't see the point. You know, back in the day, the power fist they had the fist. You could play the game, you know, like the glove, and I don't know, it's like nah. a damn. Is that, that was a real yeah, thing. Yeah, the, 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 the power gaming fist. The only, you know, only thing I, I remember I power that. fist from was from uh, regular show. <laughs> you remember yeah, that? It came from real life. I thought that was a fake That's thing, man. What, what the hell can you do with the power fist? I don't know what it would do. I think it was like for like flying game. It's kind of like how the Wii is, but it's just a glove on the fist. <laughs> I don't know. So you fight the game of socks going to be the nostalgia. He's going to reinvate, innovate, reinvate. Or the power fist, but for your feet, that's what it yeah, is. Yeah, bro, it got look, it got grip mode, no seek mode, attack mode, and cruising defense <laughs> mode. Wait, what What's else the do attack mode? You just gonna start doing Bruce Lee kicks on people or something? I don't know, but what they saying is gonna be some good stuff. No, nah, so, for real, but it says it's gonna have three modes. I don't get, you know what I mean? Like they say, it's made for in indoor use and like for arenas and stuff like this. So I can I can get it. So if you want to be more comfortable. It just you know how they got the footage. But it has the, modes though. So it's like, That's why I'm saying I don't get the mode part. Like what what, what are the modes? You know what I mean? Uh, it says medial wrap up grip and seek mode, lateral wrap up support and attack mode, and heel wrap up support and cruise and defense. I don't understand. Like is this for a fight. They trying they trying so <laughs> no, they're trying so hard to make it into like a I think it's like a marketing strategy to try to make it like speak to gamers. They look like but, shoes. They don't like socks. You know what I mean? They trying to throw it. They trying to use all this gaming lingo to make it like more appealing to gamers to buy it, but it's it's really just. But they are hundred like that hundred dollars. I mean, I, socks. yeah, they trying they trying to justify the price tag. It seemed like, but I mean, they look. They look like I mean I wouldn't mind getting them, but not for hundred dollars. Like shoes. They like real sleek, and I'm pretty sure you can wear them like in the shoes. arena, like walk around. But you gotta be indoor use only. You said so arena. Sure you you said arena. What arena? Like like a gaming arena, like you know, so like an yeah, E three, E three type of thing. They, but if you like walking around, like you know, you got walk from place to place to go to your area. Yeah, that's why you, you have game shoes. Events, <laughs> if you get a game <laughs> event, you don't have to have the shoes. It's more comfortable with the socks. You gonna walk around your socks. You gonna walk around your socks. That's what I'm saying. Like you ain't seen people. Me. You ever seen people with those? Uh, I, I imagine you can walk around them those shoes. I mean, those socks without the shoes on. That's why I'm pretty the sure. The bottoms look like they hard. Like they so That's what I'm saying, the yeah. Socks. They got the grip on them so you can walk around. You won't be slipping down steps and shit looking stupid. They got the Puma socks on, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, would say, I would say these would make more sense if it was like for like people who work out or something, like yoga or some shit. Yeah, yeah. Because you know I mean? they ate literally in a place where like hardwood floor and shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. It makes sense. Oh, yoga mats. But I don't understand for gaming. Like, I don't, and I, only, only time this would make sense for me if they maybe they partnered up with like Nintendo and it was like something Switch oriented. Like, you know, they got that Wii Fit, not Wii Fit, but the fit in this game where you got the ring, Wii Ring Fit or something like that. And I didn't be make sense they had the socks with that so it can track your foot movements or something, I guess. But, eh, or I even if you're doing like just dance or something, you want to be like, oh, yeah, all dance again. Like yeah. you said before, yeah. Something active that's going to allow you to, you know, grip the floor. But if you playing Call, Call of Duty, Duty in the E3 yeah. arena, like, I don't see the point of Are you supposed to be, like, standing up and doing a run motion in Call of Duty the way you move your character forward? <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not supposed to, for anybody thinking about it, it's not supposed to connect to the game in any way, shape, or form. It's just for your it's comfort. Not- no, I don't, I don't see nothing like that. Like, oh, do you see- I thought the modes was supposed to be, like, some. <laughs> Nah, man. They I'm saying modes. Too, I'm pretty man. sure it's like, I imagine it's like uh, some heelys or something. You got the walking mode and you got the, the hilly mode. Where you put the damn wheels in the shoes. And <laughs> down the hill. Yeah, that's why. That's why. That's how I imagine it. You probably got some straps you can attach to it to make it more comfortable. Or you got some like that's how I see it. So I sneaker socks. That's what they yeah, it's basically what it sounds like. Like it don't sound like nothing big. But um, 
I wouldn't buy them for a hundred dollars. Like I wouldn't buy. I get them for that's free gonna, as a gift. I that's gonna be on sale. Pull up like, this though. Send us some. We reveal it for you. I'm like no, nah, fuck yeah, y'all messed up already. Y'all talking about shit about our socks. Make us believers. Know. Yeah, make us believers. <laughs> make us believers and show us what we you show can do you. Sin. You <laughs> can show us what you can do with the socks, man. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I kind of got thrown off, man. But for real, the biggest thing I'm excited about to talk about today is. Kojima and it talks about him making a horror game. Honestly, and I can't believe you're not excited about that. Look at the the disappointment. Uh, horror voice. games. Uh, th- maybe I don't know. Maybe because I don't play horror games that much. But it just uh, I don't know. I, I always hate the horror games where you can't defend yourself, man. I like that's what like, makes it that's scary. Why I like though. the Resident Evils and the Evil Within because you can defend yourself and they still scary. It was like uh, you can make I mean, a scary I can't game say... while you defend yourself. At the same time, I can't. All right, I think about it like this: Resident Evil Two Remake was a, a perfect game. It was good in all ways. You know, what I'm saying graphics perfect. It was scary. Hallways tight, enemies constant. You know what I mean? You always feel like you had things going on and somebody around the corner to get you. You know what I mean? But I still beat that game within two weeks. You uh, didn't. I, beat last, it. I keep telling I you. Can you, why you keep doing that? Man? No, <laughs> every you time. Ain't beat it. Every I, time. I'm not forget the satisfaction. Every time, man. <laughs> I be one side of the story within two yeah, weeks. I, I I played the shit out the game though. It's not it wasn't scary enough to keep me from continuing the game. But as far as like Outlast or um PT, even though I did beat the PT, even though it's like a demo, of course, that game is the scariest game I've ever played in my life, man. Like that oh, it's just one hallway, but the it was like a psychological, like psychological scary game, man. It fucked you up. Had babies crying. Had a fetus in the damn sink with blood, and it had like a little hole in the wall. You had to look through and see that it was all type of shit, man. Refrigerator hanging from the damn ceiling, and it, it gave you a little backstory about the refrigerator on the ceiling with blood dripping out of it. Because the dude on the radio, did you play it all the way through? Which one? PT. Um, I think so. I got to the point where they did the, uh, I think it was like the jump scare, which he jumped at you and you died. Is it? I mean, that's the end, ain't it? Because after that, it's just an infinite loop, ain't it? Until you do, like, the final nah, puzzle it's, pieces. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot more. It's like the first part right there. No, it's, it's not. Like, if she jumps, if she jumps around and she kill you. Yeah, you wake up back in the room, and it's, like, it's an infinite loop, but it's a lot more stuff you got to do. Like, did you ever see her in the hallway? Yeah, that's before like stand, that. Standing up, twitching and shit. Yeah, that's before that she kills you. It's still more to it, though. It's definitely still more to nah. it. I'm pretty. I'm, I'm telling you, there's, there's a lot more to it. I guess not. The hallway spiraled out. You start moving faster, like flickering lights. It's all type of crazy shit that happened in that game. Little maze and shit. Yeah, the thing. Yeah, all that shit. I don't know. Maybe yeah, I she don't, don't kill you until like halfway through, even before that. Like it, it, it was like early on when she killed you. But um, yeah, man, like just hearing that damn refrigerator swinging back and forth, and the baby's crying. Dude, give you a backstory about how he killed. The dude that lived in the house killed his wife and with pregnant wife. It was it was a psychological. Well, what was, game. What was the shit is? What the dude? He likes like a damn newscaster. Yeah, he it's making it even worse. Water. You know what I'm saying? It's made it a lot worse. That shit, that game. He stabbed the angry. baby, and then the daughter ran into the room and screamed yeah. at the father. And then the father walked in and killed the five year old daughter. Exactly. <laughs> that game it gave me a hangover, and I was like scared. You know, I played the game like four or five times, and I beat it. I still try to play it again the other day, but because it was scary as hell. I wanted to relive that whole thing. You can't. You don't watch scary games for, for fun. You don't watch scary movies for fun. That's the whole point of being scared. I feel like. Why? I don't want no scary movie for fun. I mean, what, what do you mean? Scary like, for fun. fun. <laughs> it's fun to be scared. Like watch you. Oh, it's not scary to me. I tell you, bro, I watch scary movies at night, bro. Ever since Parental Activity, bro, nothing scares me, bro. Everything is weak. So you, you didn't find a game, a movie game, nothing that scared you since Parental Activity? Nope. They always the contrading weak. The contrading at you. Condu was good. It was good, but it, it was good. Like, it, it, had, it had moments. I'm good. They had moments. But Watch that shit by yourself like, right now. It didn't like. I already seen it, so it wasn't happening by yourself. <laughs> Yeah, I'll watch that. Who will watch that movie with? I can't watch it with my mama no more because she freaking skirt every movie down. <laughs> I don't she watch scary movies. Movie, I don't buddy. watch scary movies like that, man. But if I do watch a scary movie, uh, I don't know, man. Like it's like the perfect date thing. But I'm putting on demon shit. 
Like, See, a lot of the girls I talk to, they don't like scary movies. Nobody like, like, it's like nobody likes scary movies. A lot, they always just hide their face. I'm like, they supposed to watch it, man. Supposed to see the, nah, the, man. the jump skirt. There was one girl I dated. She did like all scary movies, and we watched. Yeah. She watched them a little too much. I understand. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. like, oh no. But at the same time, it's like that's like the perfect situ- uh, situation. Just right, don't have me stuff. watching. Ghost possession, demon shit. Like I don't. That's the shit I don't mess with, bro. A week after we got after, I don't know. It was a week, but it was like a a couple days after we watched Pornhub Activity with my mom. <clears throat> we stayed in this house where like my room was like in the kitchen and her room because it was like a one bedroom. But she took like the living room, dining room area, made it at her room, and then I stayed in like the actual room that was like all in the back in the kitchen. <clears throat> and like I was like, cause it's like a hallway that goes from the kitchen to the to the uh, you can see directly into her room mm-hmm. and i was walking past the hallway i was like making a sandwich or something so i had to go from the refrigerator <laughs> to the table or something i walked yeah. past the hallway and I, and I always look down the hallway just like in the middle of the night and like um i was walking past and i kept looking down the hallway for some reason i just kept looking down the hallway and then one of the time i looked down the hallway she was sitting up and looking down the hallway towards me and like when I got to the uh, I got to the table to make for make my side, I looked down the hallway and she she was sitting up looking at me and I was looking at her. And we literally just started each other still without moving for like five minutes. And she was like, What you doing? I'm like, oh. no, I'm making stuff. She was a ghost, man. Cause she, cause she, I guess she would heard me making stuff. She was like, What the hell is going on in there? But then like, I was looking at her and she when she was laying down, all of a sudden she was just sitting up looking down the hallway. I'm like, what is this? What is she doing? I was like, she says it. I was like, deep breath, like, oh, quick, quick oh thing. Oh my god, what are you doing? Can you sleep with your door open? Your bedroom door open? Sometimes it depends on how tired I am. Because sometimes I, I do, but I sometimes can't I can't. Bro. I can't do it, man. Like I don't see how people can sleep with the bedroom. <laughs> you just see that pitch blackness. Open. Exactly. <laughs> like you just, I don't know. And people are like, man, you gotta be able to hear what's going on in the house. My, my house. I stay in a two bedroom. I mean, a one yeah, yeah two bedroom house. condo, man. Like I don't need anything. Somebody bro. walking around. I'm going to know. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, mm-hmm. it's still, and if it, it's like if the damn killer see your ass in the bed sleeping with the door open, like, it's going to be easy. Just tiptoe the ass in there. <laughs> if it's the door closed, you're going to at least hear the door creaking. You know like, what I'm saying? Here's, here's the thing. Do you sleep with your leg outside the cover? Would you, like, put your leg or foot outside the cover? <laughs> Sometimes. It depends if I'm like, hot. If I'm hot. Like, I don't, I don't mind that shit that much. I see you know, that's one of the things where productivity, where it's like, you think somebody grab your shit, so you be like, ah, nah, let me just put it back in the cover. <laughs> the cover like nah. a safety force field, nigga. <laughs> it's a, yeah, that's, that's where everybody used to hide themselves in. Like that's, that's I, I swear, the prime activity did come out, and I did watch it. I was like fourteen years old. I slept like that, like completely in case of my covers, nigga, with one little peak, like one little slither of uh, <laughs> sight from my covers, so I can look at the TV. That's it. Like I couldn't see. I was completely in case of my covers, man. I could not sleep with that movie, man. That's why I woke, woke up with night sweats every time, man. For real. That movie scary. scared the shit out of me. It was scary, bro. Like I said, ever since then, it was nothing, bro. I don't know. I mean, I had nightmares when I was kids from movies, but I was a kid, though. That, that, that count. I feel like every kid had nightmares watching, like, I watching like, weird, Chucky man. and Jason and shit. Only, a lot of people now, like, I was scared of this shit. <laughs> with fucking Jason and Chucky. Like, come on now. But, you got that one nightmare you can remember? Nah, I, I, I do. All my life might be the same. So it's, it's always me running away, and I and I'm always it's always you moving in slow motion. Like, yeah, every time get, getting caught. It's, it's like it's you, my you dream. Punch real Why slow can't and, I and, and, and do soft superhero and shit. shit? Yeah, exactly. It's weird. Like you drunk one, nigga just flailing this shit. Like oh my god. I had I had one night where I can remember it so well because it was so weird. I had went to uh I was living in my house in uh Jenny's in St Louis. Yeah, uh, yeah a specific area. <laughs> yeah, I, I swear, like it's eighty one three Parkway Drive. The basement yellow. was the basement was weird as hell. Like it was like we had one of them old school scary movie basements. You know what I'm saying? But for every read, for I was like I was real young. It's about around the time I, I was watching Clifford a lot. And uh, <laughs> big red dog, <laughs> big red dog. I was <laughs> I was I was in elementary school. <laughs> But I went. To, I woke up in the middle of the night in my dream. I, I woke up in the middle of the night, went to the basement, and it was like a big ass like portable fire or some shit, right at the bottom of the steps. Portable fire. Portable this yo, fire. This ain't your. Oh, this ain't your it's dream. In my, it's in my dream. This is what happened. Portable fire like swirling in the basement of my steps, and uh, 
You remember T Bone from <laughs> from Clifford? Yeah, Ice T? Oh, I thought you were talking about T Bone. No, T Bone Clifford, <laughs> the little yellow dog. Yeah. He was with me, man. We was working together to try to figure out what the fuck was going on. Then we went to the basement, and that's that's all I remember. We were walking toward the portal of fire. I think we went in, but I think I probably woke in, woke up at the. That day. was the most scary shit you said. A that's the one I remember. Fire. That's the Clifford, only one I remember, buddy. <laughs> why Clifford, nigga? T-bone. Clifford, T Bone, T Bone. I don't know why. You know, you, you can't really explain why you be dreaming shit like that. Mean, Clifford, nigga, you got this, the weakest nigga. You couldn't even have a girl. <laughs> dog, <she's> a <laughs> I don't remember the other one. The put it was like Clifford, T Bone, and the girl. She was like way tougher than all they asses. She would bully they niggas. Yeah, with the, the I, purple, I, the purple I poodle. Remember that. Remember that bit? I kind of do remember that. Yeah. All right, man. So, long story short, <laughs> we got off of tangent for real. I hope Kojima made that game, man, because PT was the scariest thing I ever played. Aside from Outlast 2, because out of religion and all that shit. So, I'm going to I'm gonna have to get into that hard games again, man. I just hate not being a Did you play man. Outlast 2? I, I actually own it, and I got a little bit in it. I got – I probably met the girl, the, the Scythe girl, and that's like in the beginning – I went to like a barn or something, and I just stopped playing. You, I don't know why I stopped playing. Did you get in like, teleport to the school? Like, yeah, I did the school and all that shit. Nah, yeah. it's just going to go back and forth to get scarier and scarier every fucking time, dude. I ain't going to lie. That shit scared the hell out of me, man. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I don't even want to talk about scary shit no more. I'm here by myself. Me and my me and I, he's going to be sleeping in my bed tonight. Well, on a lighter note, what about that Call of Duty, though? Now, Call of Duty got that Kill Death Watch going on. The twenty, but it's like things like twenty dollars for the pack, the bundle that you get like other cosmetics with it, but it come with the watch too. So explain to me what, exactly what's going on with that. So apparently, cause you know how Call of Duty, almost on on Call of Duty, most shooting games in general, they have like a kill death ratio that you can see during the game, where so so how many kills you got, and how many deaths you got, you know all this stuff. Whereas Amount of Warfare, you you can only see the kills, assists. And something else, like it don't show the death of the of your stats when you plan. Like in the middle of a match, it don't show. It will show you the death, the death ratio, the kill death ratio after the match, like when the match is over. Mm-hmm. But so I guess people make a plan about that or something. But but yet they decided to add like a kill death ratio watch into the, into this little bundle. So now so basically they charge people for the. To see they kill death ratio during the game instead of just having it like a feature that they always had in the game. But they mm-hmm. excuse they they excuse them saying is that they trying to reduce the toxic to- toxicity between the players because I guess when so somebody like one in thirty, <laughs> so <laughs> somebody somebody you- won't blame them. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody would be like, this motherfucker. Nah, you fucking <laughs> suck. Get your ass out of my game. I'm, I'm carrying everybody. I, I know how it is, man. I wish I could see both sides. I mean, where it's like, I, mean, I, I, mean, I, I ain't going to lie, man. Is- I have felt a little better. Like, some, I mean, some game modes do show you, but I think it's those free-for-all game modes. I think it might be the only one. Because now that you say it, I think free-for-all might be the only one that show you your, uh, your KD. But... I don't know how I feel about it, man. I don't, that was, don't change up too much stuff like that. It may, if you if you want to change the toxicity, you can't say that and then charge for a watch that costs twenty dollars. If you do want to, if, right, if there was the real, hard, if there was a real thing, then you would just get it to, for free to for everybody, or just make it to where you're the only person that see OKD. I'm trying to justify it by putting the twenty dollars price tag. I mean, it's technically you are the only person that can see OKD with the watch. Nobody else can see it but you. That's what I'm saying. But like, make it into like the the hood or the interface when you press the back menu that you only see OKD and reassure players. Oh, only, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Don't try to throw a slap a twenty dollars price tag on it then and say, "Yeah, we're doing this because we're trying I mean, to make it's, sure." It's like, technically not here. twenty dollars. It's probably taking like a dollar or two dollars, but still, they still charge. Still, don't, don't charge it. They don't charge you for that, man. It's like it's basic stuff that we supposed to have. I feel like, like I said before. I only I know you're gonna get into it a little bit with the market transactions. As long as it's stuff that's come with the base game, it doesn't affect the game for real. It's cool. But this is I, I feel like KD is a part of the base game. You know what I'm saying? Like that's, that's something that every Call of Duty has has had. Don't take that away and then try to put DLC and market transactions into it so we can see our KD. That's that's stupid. I don't get it. I'm pretty sure you can get one from the battle pass, right? Uh, you can you can get a watch and that just shows your level your progress. Levels. Yeah. Show your Did you go through the entire battle pass to see all the levels? 
I mean, if they, if they didn't include that with the battle pass, I don't think, it, it I don't think it's shitty. not. Oh, yeah, I don't shitty. think it's with the battle pass. Cause they wouldn't charge you for it if it was with the battle pass. <laughs> this <laughs> shitty is it, it's real shitty, then. In this case, <laughs> like, I, don't, I don't like that at all. It's like some real money grab stuff. Yeah. Oh, no, I might, I might look into that again. Cause if they if they're not included into, into the battle pass, that's that's messed up. And you just see, man, they, they they just keep coming out with these like cosmetics to go with the game. Like I said, it don't really matter that much, but you just know they're trying to get the money because they got these little. I don't feel like it justifies to have to pay ten dollars for a Viking trinket and some other shit Viking style. You know what I'm saying? That's, that mm-hmm. don't really bring much to the game. Like they got Vikings, they have some other stuff like. Some other skins to go with your guns, and it's, it's just just a big money grab. But anyway, it's our games doing it now, man. Yep. Why? Well, uh, <clears throat> we also got the um. Everybody's talking about Fallout seventy six once again. You know they just love standing the news. <laughs> it's like it's weird. They they are fixing. They are trying to fix the game. But at the same time, when they're trying shit. to fix the game, they're also breaking stuff that's totally unrelated to what they're trying to fix for the game. So at this point, they they I don't know what they're trying to fix at this point, but they're trying to fix what they're trying to fix this time in this uh, patch update. They end up messing up the guns and the armor in the process, which doesn't even make sense. So basically, every time there's a video going around on YouTube with this dude, or every time he hear his show, he show his armor. And it was like 500 or something. His armor rating, like 500 armor rating. And every time he reloaded his gun, he shot and reloaded his gun, his armor rating went down to like 400. Like it went down like a whole hundred <laughs> points or That's so. That's crazy. And that is ridiculous, man. <clears throat> it also, there's also other reports of people who were like, were shooting their gun or reloading their gun. And their gun, um, what they call it, uh, durability, would go down mm. too. Like the gun would start breaking quicker. If once they like reload their gun or something like that, and it's just like, dude, come on, man. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> I mean, I feel like I at don't... this point, why are people still playing this game? <laughs> they, I <laughs> forgot so how many people. It was a considerable amount of people still playing this game. I forgot who said the yeah, number. Yeah, I seen an article. Yeah, I seen some. Yeah, you said it, like twenty four thousand people. Or something yeah, still so playing. people still playing it. It's so weird. they got their they got their fan base, man. But it's just like stop giving these people money, man, until they make a polish game. Boy, comedy because it's IP that they're trying to keep going for years. You know what I'm saying? Make them work on it before they re-release it with some bullshit, man. But the game is just yeah, trash. Because we tried to play it too, man. She's like, man, I couldn't get into it. Yeah, it was boring, dude. It was, it was like, boring as hell. Could we? I think we made a video on it. We did that a scrap in the video because it was exactly. just like, bro, <laughs> we ain't get done from this. <laughs> it was just so dull, bro. I'm like, ah, oh. I don't know what's going on, but it's like a lot of rushed stuff going on. You need to take a seat. Relax, woosa a couple times and get shit together, man. Cause they they tripping right now. Like, how do you make that happen? Like, nobody tested the the guns out or the new update to see what's going on. Like, I don't know nothing about developing games, but I just feel like if y'all ex- is y'all are experienced as uh, but that's is like, y'all shouldn't be making these type of mistakes. You know what I mean? But- um, but that's the, I mean, you can't say they sprinkled it. All their games are like that. They always release these broken games, and then the modders are the ones who come out and fix their shit for them. But not broken to this point where it completely messed the game up, I don't feel like. Like, I never you'll ran be, to a problem. you be surprised, like bro. Like, like what the? Because all the games I play, I don't know if I came in late. No motherfuckers always had, like, super broken games, bro. I mean, not to the, I mean, not to the point. I mean, Fallout 76 ain't really broken until he can't play it. It's just it had a lot of issues, a lot of issues, but you can still play it. But it just had a lot of issues. That's how like Skyrim on them, and they they got issues, a lot of them. But you can still play them, sure. But if you go on a PC form or a mod, any kind of modding website, they got billions of people who modding fixes to the game that you wouldn't even know about. Bro. Mm-hmm. Like, it's crazy. Like yeah, frame rate, um, every time where you're walking in a world and you'll see like the world, you can like see through the world or like going up a hill or something like that. People be mm-hmm. fixing those so the seams won't be like uh missing or them the seams actually be meshed together well and stuff. Or you'll see like a floating tree, people will fix that shit and put the tree back in this place or something. Yeah. Like, shit, like, come on, bro, like it's simple shit. <laughs> so. I don't know. I need to put some more resources into cleaning out the game. If this is something y'all trying to be stretching out for a couple of years, like they say, 
It's got to be polished to at least bring people back in. Because the graphics are on point to me. They need a new engine. Oh, Fallout 76 graphics? Yeah, you don't like them? No. They don't like shit. I mean, they they like Fallout 76. I mean, Fallout 4 graphics. It's the same. Like, it's... it's, Mm -hmm. For a big sandbox game like that and doing what it's doing with a bunch of people being able to play, I feel like that's everything like that is on point. But all this other stuff with the $100... Fucking membership and all this broken armor and guns and shit. Like they need to fix it. That's that's. Oh no! You say graphics. They say you, you talk about MMOs and graphics. Shit, Black Desert Online look like God to <laughs> on PC though, right? Like, on oh, consoles like, too. We ever played I mean, Black Desert Online? <laughs> I don't know if I played on console. I got to download it, but I don't know if I played it on console. Play for console. That motherfucker look good. I mean, it's a lot of MMOs out there. that look super dope. How would you compare like it to? Monster Hunter World graphics, because I like Monster Hunter World graphics. I mean, you I can tell World it's like kind of texture. They kind of the same. I feel like they kind of the same ish. At least on console, at least what I play. But I think Monster Hunter World graphics are, are slightly better than Fallout seventy six. I feel like they kind of the same though. It's definitely not broken for it. Fallout. It definitely broken like a motherfucker. But I think Monster Hunter World shit is definitely way better. So I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, play it because I got to download it, but I just need to get into it for real. But, wow. um, what, um, Black Dead Online? Wow. <clears throat> I mean, the game itself is cool. I'm just saying, like, I'm talking about graphics wise, you said it looks good for open world game with a lot of people. I'm just saying, Black Dead Online have way more people with it and all that shit, and they shit look dope. <clears throat> That's all I'm saying. All right, which one get into now? We talking, talking about the, um, Redbox sales like a little quick little thing. If, it, if y'all want some cheap games, Redbox giving them away pretty much because they're not selling no, no more physical yeah. copies of games. It's going so, towards the blockbuster route. This might go out of business with the games and yeah, movies too, man. Nobody's trying to go to Redbox. I yeah, don't I mean, see digital, people doing that shit no more. Digital, the digital age is coming, bro. Nobody's gonna go get movies and shit. Digital, I, I, that's still that's always gonna be those people that want a hard copy and build that collection. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, 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 for but, sure. In the grand scheme of things, eventually that shit gonna die. But then again, with they, they put it like this. Like, I don't know. They put it like this. The same instance right now. If Steam were to shut down right now, nigga, I lost all games. <laughs> I can't, no, I can't, I, I can't play none of that shit, nigga. Because oh, it's on their shit. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do that with it. But it's like, if I own those games, like a hard copy, I can play them as long as I want, whenever, mm-hmm. and all this shit. But we you got your shit, if, if everything is digital, and somehow the they stuff go down or whatever, or the internet just goes out one day. You can't never play them on for us no more. <laughs> for real. Now unless you like gotta download it, like do Steam do that shit where you gotta have a, like a because uh, I know on PlayStation if you got a primary console or Xbox is primary, you can download them and still play them offline. Yeah, but a lot of the games people got now, I don't know about a lot, but think about think about Xbox and their games with gold or something. Mm-hmm. You lose all those games and what well, I, I don't know. Because doesn't need a server in order to download those games. I mean, if you download them, then yeah, you cool. But I'm saying, if you if you already got it downloaded and you offline, could you still play it on Steam? Like, say if I pulled your Ethernet cord out of your console right now because you load your games up because hmm. you got downloaded. I think so. I ain't never tried it, so I don't know. So I I, I don't know because like with PlayStation, I don't know if Steam you got primary console. Itself. With <laughs> PlayStation and Xbox, if you got if your primary console is set. The console you playing on, and you try to load up a game, and you good without internet connection. You can't only, you can't obviously access online features. That's the only thing. You know what I'm saying? So, up, does it? Just do it. You gotta. Yeah, well, not right it now. Is. Course, it's but, off, it's <laughs> offline mode. Yeah, it allows you to, offline mode allows you to play games through Steam without having an active internet uh, connection to Steam network. I guess I guess it only means like if you. I don't know if it works if like you download. I don't know if you own if you own the game already is in your library. I guess that means you own it, and you ain't you ain't gotta worry about them. They whole shit, but I don't, I don't know. I don't know how that work. Cause what about save? Cause all the saves are cloud based, ain't it? So if, mm. you, if you if you delete the game and you try to come back and play it later, since they ain't got the servers up, the cloud is not up. So you mean you gotta play the whole game over again? I, I doubt it. I think because it's safe on your PC. I'm gonna save data safe on my PC. I don't know, because there's times where I delete games and I come back and play them, my save data is still there. Yeah, because it's on your PC. 
I think you gotta wipe the whole entire file. The the PC the the PC file. I mean, not the PC file. The game file. And uh, say that the file should be two different, two separate folders. It should be. I don't know. You the I don't PC ever about you, that. you built your damn PC. I thought you were with new all this stuff. I mean, I don't know about the whole like the, the intricacies of. Do you take it still <laughs> own? Do you, do you take it still own the game? If the server that you bought the game on goes down. I, mean, I guess you're not really. Yeah, you I still, guess you bought, do, you still but I don't it, think you play like, like online features of Quest if the server go down. Yeah. I don't know. They don't happen too much. I, I've never played a game where the server went down. That's I, what I'm saying. Like, I don't know I'm saying it's, it's, it's <laughs> an old game that I don't I care never, about no more. I never tried it with a game. What game was that? Like that was it was some. Uh, they can't take a game down unless all the people off the server. I forgot what game it was, but it was like ten people. They left. They, it was Madden. I think it was like the first Madden for Xbox Live, and people was like staying online, so they couldn't take the service down. <laughs> you heard about that? And like one dude stayed on for like a week straight, and then his shit finally cut out, and he took the service down as soon as he cut off. I forgot. Like it was, I might have to look that story up, man. But they was trying to keep the service alive and not not uh, let them take it down. But um, yeah, that's that's it with Redbox for real. So if y'all want some cheap games like the. The games they had on sale, man, was some some good A one yeah, games. Some good for games. Shit, man. They got like Assassin's Creed Odyssey for fifteen, Borderlands three for twenty, uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare for thirty. But I, I imagine you won't have a disc, right? So you gotta go to the well, gotta box, disc, right? I mean, not the disc, but the box. It's gonna it's be like a box. It's gonna be in a red box case. I, I imagine. Man, I thought they just give you a damn disc. I'm gonna be scratched. <laughs> no, I'm saying it's gonna be inside a red box case. Instead oh, of a, oh, the, yeah. the traditional I mean, Spider Man, so that's it, probably why you, you, you tripping, man. I would love it. I don't want a bunch of red box sleeves just sitting around my damn entertainment system, man. I don't, I don't want that's how you lose shit. Like I got, a, I got some red box movies. So you ain't gonna box. lose the box, goddamn I would not want to lose a box. You got to play some my entertainment system where I can see the name of the game I'm trying to play. Just put the sleeves back in the, the game back in the sleeve, and you good. You, you know what the sleeve look like right? You, the red box sleeve. Sure. It's like it's like an old CD case. It's like game fly sleeve. Yeah, something like that. Something like that, but it's, but plastic. So you like you won't know what games you got unless you really like figuring through them and trying to figure out what you got. You know what I'm saying? Like I'll probably mm-hmm. lose my shit. And I got some old red box movies and they they hey, I, I don't recommend well unless you if you're responsible to yeah. But I didn't got some red box movies and got charged thirty dollars for a fucking old ass movie because I didn't have to <laughs> for so long, man. That's how they get you. That's how they make their money. Man, yeah. I, just, I just read a comment. It was saying something like, um, I guess people, when they get the games for Redbox, instead of returning the game, they'll like return like a photocopy for of the game. Yeah. Yeah, no. Somebody's like, yeah, I got a fake game twice for Redbox. I'm like, I'll be mad as fuck. Yeah, no, I'll be mad as fuck. They get like a damn porno or something. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the yeah. fuck is this? People be on some creative shit to, to scam people, man. I swear. Yeah, man. Shady. Crazy. That's why I can't never have shit around people, man. Before, always yeah. somebody trying to cheat the system before that next person over. <laughs> it's messed up, man. They ain't, they ain't never having to meet before. But uh, what else we want to talk about, man? The, uh, uh, Borderlands DLC? Yeah. Holiday it, DLC it boxing? I wonder how big it is. Is it like a big right DLC now. or is it? I doubt it. I don't know. But is it out now? I thought this. I said so. It's, uh, I say summer. It was like the thirtieth of December or something. Or oh, what I'm thinking about? Let's look back into the it. Minute these changes, you watch the minute these changes, it's like a high fix. It's a something. moxie high. It's a high fix and some other stuff going on with it. So they, they fixed a bunch of terror. Um, little I don't know, little bug fixes with that. Like guns like falling through ground and shit. Yeah, yeah, all that shit, yeah. stuff like that. So if y'all want to get that, go download it. As usual, we just load up on the on the home screen and shit, so you can get into that. You need to play Borderlands again, man. I don't know why we stopped. Can we, we beat the game. game. <laughs> Can't win beat up mayhem though. We gotta get the mayhem three. Get all the uh, achievements, all the all the guns, all this shit, man. I'm ready to get into it again. All the terror, the terror the thing. Did they increase I'm the be honest, capacity uh, of the thing yet? Yeah, they did. I'm gonna say you be honest, what? what? If the whole little October Halloween, I forgot what the DLC was called. If they had better, more enticing rewards, I probably would have played them more. But it was like skins. It's just like that little plain skins. And I didn't really care. 
Yeah, the skins won that though. See? Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't worth it. Well, it wasn't worth playing playing the same boss twenty times on times three mayhem. It wasn't worth it to me. But uh, I don't know. I'm gonna get back into it though. I just beat uh, Jedi Fallen Order when they I got out of work today. Yeah. Finally. Finally. I Five mean, weeks. How long? When it come out? I think. Fucking 10, 20 weeks ago. It ain't come out that long. It's November, like 15th or something. Yeah. It's about a month. Yeah, about something like that. Weeks ago. So, I mean, it was. I stopped playing for a little minute. I was playing a little Call of Duty trying to platinum that. So, I'm about to still finish that up. For real. But yeah, it was good, man. Like I like I don't want to spoil it though, so I ain't gonna say nothing. But I, you know it's coming out with a second one. And yeah, I, I enjoyed the game all the way through. I wanna uh I wanna they go let us play as an old girl. I doubt it. I wouldn't I want, it. want to. I wouldn't want, want to. to. I wouldn't play yeah. her using fucking I don't know, she have like a damn axe or something, like they the, the night brothers have. One of yeah. those axes and use her powers and shit to teleport around and all that shit. That'd be dope, dude. I don't know. I, I don't. I don't see the appeal. I, I like. I like Cal's story. I like Cal and this old story. But uh, I was just gonna say some fuck that. I don't know. But I want more customization. Damn. I want. I want to be able to get a black lightsaber. I fucking love the black lightsaber from Force Unleashed. That's all I use. That black lightsaber. I thought it was dope looking. I want to see dual lightsabers. You know, the actual dual lightsaber at the end of it. You can't. It's kind of like he sort of kind of get it, but not really. But I want to do yeah, it. Like you just tell like he he's starting to get the like I, I'm doing my whole little rants and reasons article right now. I'm about like say some of the words in, so be on look out for that. I'm talking about all the good, the bad, all that with the game. It's gonna be a new little segment we doing rants and reasons about certain games. So it's gonna put collectively, it's, essentially it's review, but still it's gonna be a little more. I don't know, frantic. I don't know, I don't know the right word. A little more honest than a traditional review. Like it's gonna be. Oh, help me out here, Vince. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that's right. It's honest gonna be like a little more gritty. All right. No, no <laughs> point intended. It's gonna be a little more gritty than a traditional uh, review. But uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm working on that right now. But my main thing, like you said, man, no fast travel. That shit is annoying. Like I, I do want to get. I want to platinum the game. I don't see how you did it. I don't see you. You, you a better yeah, man than me, true. man. Like with this, yeah, I can't. True. I cannot do it. Cause you, I mean, the shortcuts help out a lot. I ain't gonna lie. But at the same time, just like you gotta go through yeah, all. Constantly the look at the map and figure out. Constantly. You gotta plan your route and shit. <laughs> but they do make it easy with the map, unless you did go into an area like all the undiscovered. All the undiscovered areas are yellow. So if you did go into the area and just happen to miss something, you kind of out of luck, and you still gotta re uh, re go to the area. But if you load up a map again, you know what I'm saying, with all your new skills and shit, and you see a yellow, nine times out of ten, you got a chest or something to scan in that area that you missed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's usually not a scan. It's, I say scans don't show up on the map, so you got to just run around a map. Yeah, but you could be like, that's what I'm saying, like, if you know it's an undiscovered area, you probably got a higher chance of finding the scan because you know you ain't been to the area yet. You know what I mean? I don't know, because when I beat the game, I 100% of every map, and I still had shit I had to find. I, I don't know where I was supposed to go. Like, where I supposed to go to find these things that I need crazy, on a 100% man. discovered map? <laughs> and the thing is, they, the area, you no, know, I won't put on a spoiler, so I'm trying to speak in a little code, but they, the last area you go to, they say you can't revisit it. Nah. But you had you had things you had to scan in that area though. Yeah, I don't, I, apparently that didn't count because I, I think I missed like one thing there. I guess it didn't count because I still got my platinum for, the, for it. So I don't know if I want to platinum. Nah. Now. I'm at like fifty percent trophies right now. Cause you weak, bro. <laughs> weak. What, what's the game you didn't beat that I beat, man? You know, no, talk shit. Yeah, then, no, there's plenty of lap. Probably Resident Evil. Evil. It's the only one. Which the only one? Which I'll be, I, te- I technically be with you. I don't care. The I don't hear that I technically bullshit. Man. You didn't I beat was technically at the end. I just restarted. You ain't beat it. You ain't beat it. I beat it. I'm going to beat man. it this weekend. Since you yeah, go ahead and do it. I'm going to beat the go DLC too that you never played. Oh, I'm going to go back. It's just one of the things, man. I waited so long to play that game again, man. It's. The, it I was getting fucked up. It should be fresh to you now. Like, you're interested in shit now. It should be all refreshed in your mind. Yeah, now. but I keep picking it up, learning a little bit, then putting it back down. I don't have the time, man, because I was playing the time game, <laughs> when I beat that game at first, man, I was working at Home Depot overnights, 
And I'd be getting home like around like three o'clock in the morning, three or four o'clock in the morning. So I'd be up from like four to like 10 a.m., man, just playing the game constantly. It was just wishing all day. I had my coffee out with God, go home, <laughs> get, get a fresh grad glass of strong coffee, nigga, just sit there and play that shit all day, man. Yeah. I did before too a couple times. Get home from work at two, and you be on my phone from like two to ten, and you be like, "Damn, it's ten o'clock already!" Oh, yeah, for real. Waste my whole goddamn day. <laughs> and I just know I go to sleep, go back to work in one. I was good, but yeah, man, it was. Man, you waste your time that much, dude. You get off at four, go to work uh, all the way to ten a.m., but you can't go back at one p.m. <laughs> you got like three hours of sleep. No ten, yeah, I, no, I couldn't sleep during the day, man. That's the one thing that I didn't. I hated about overnight. I could not sleep during the day. The only time I catch up on my sleep is on the weekend when I was off. But it's like yo, yo Saturdays. You basically because I was off Saturdays and Sundays. But yo, yo off days is basically like Saturday. You sleeping in? You know what I mean? Like you just trying to catch up on sleep, and I'd be up at three o'clock in the morning just sitting in, like everybody else sleep. I couldn't. Have, I ain't had shit to do. I was like, man. It was, it was around time I was living with my grandma, too, so she used to lock the house down, <laughs> like, around 9 o'clock, set the alarm. So if I did want to leave, in the house, yeah, if, I, if I did want to leave, I couldn't because I couldn't get the damn house. So it was, it was yeah, like... She, she had one of those damn doors with the keys on the inside of the damn door? No, nah, she had she one of them. The she up. had the alarm that she never got the code to nobody, too, because she had foster kids, so she didn't want... I don't know, man. It was a lot going on, man. Like, well, shit, she got a code, at least, shit. Because she still had to come let me out and lock it back up put the lawn back on because I couldn't turn it on from the outside and shit. And then, then close the garage. We had an automatic garage doors. So I couldn't shut them from the outside because I didn't have a remote. It was it was a lot of shit. <laughs> Just not, <laughs> I couldn't leave. So no, it was locked in, boy. Locked in, but it, I was in Troy, man. It wasn't shit to do anyway, honestly. So I just chilled at home playing with you. I guess. Yeah, man. Old days when you could spend a bunch of time on the game. I can't. This job, man. I just want to come home, drink a beer, and go to sleep. <laughs> you don't want to do shit. This job, time for something, man. Because like you deal with people all day, too, man. I don't know how you do it. That shit. I do, too, but you got to be in people's face constantly. Yeah, you got to put on that fake smile all the damn time. Yeah, man. I, I, stories and, uh, I did I don't it before. Care. I did it before, but it's just like, I'm sorry. I thought it was smile and agree, nigga. Whatever they talk talking about, like, my grandma just passed away. You just smile and be like, yes. You're ugly ass motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I know. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> smile the green. Whatever they talking about. <laughs> you laugh, do a fake laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what you just said, man. You know, this how, this how it is usually, man. Like, I just sit there. Sometimes I don't even hear what the fuck they say. I just, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. You just okay. laugh. You might, you might say some shit. Like, like I say, they grab out that. You be like, ha, ha, ha. I don't know what you say. <laughs> I ain't out till 2 o'clock. Man. I ain't, I ain't, I'm ain't. i autopilot for now. Right. It's a bad that shit, man. Like, you ever saying, uh, click? Yeah. Yeah, man. I, I, would you like to do that shit? Autopilot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm right. Fast forward your day. Fast forward, like, motherfucker. Fast forward work, goddamn. He just fast forward through stupid shit like sex and shit. Like, look, yeah, fast forward work all your day. I fast forward through work, but sex. But I'm at <laughs> home, nah, nigga. I'm here go slow motion, nigga. <laughs> 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 yeah, no. Yeah, 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 she tripping, bro. I always thought like I wish I had a twin too. Like I could see my twin work. We had the same job. You know what I'm saying? Like it'd be funny as hell. Send the ass to work for me. I ain't trying to work today, for man. me, bro. I ain't trying to work today, man. It's your day. And then his ass works somewhere. And he need you to work at his job. He's like, nah, I'm good. I'm no, that's what I'm saying. We had the same job, period. You know what I'm saying? Like, we put in one application. What if y'all work, at the, what if y'all work fucking at the same time? No, that's what I'm saying. Like, we have, they think they hired one person, but they hired two of us. Not oh, so you're saying both, so one of y'all get the job. To me, both of yeah. y'all got the job. Both of us got a job, and we work. I gotta split that paycheck. God damn. Yeah, I mean, hey, <laughs> we work <working> out. <laughs> Have time, man. Yeah. That'd be cool. I, I, that'd be some cool twin shit. But. Yeah, man. <laughs> I mean, if you really wanted to, my job, I could do that. I can get away with that if I wanted to. I want to like, think about that. This, I wonder if there's some twins out there. I'm pretty sure there's some out there that fucking fuck they twin boyfriend or girlfriend. <laughs> And they played it. They played his damn. They fucked their boy. They twins, boyfriend, and girlfriend. Bro. I'm pretty sure it's been. It's, it's like some, some petty shit, bro. Yeah. 
That's probably what we, hey man. I, hey, you need, you need to see man. I'm telling you, man. She she like this, this, and this. I don't even want to go into it too much. But like, yeah, man, you, you need to try out. All right, all right, yeah. Let me uh let me change clothes, get your clothes all real quick and see what's going on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. So she know. her twin motherfucking be at work one day and they come in just like them, acting like this. <laughs> like, damn, you never know, bro. Like, you'll probably never even know, nigga. <laughs> For real. That, that's, that's, that's crazy. In relationships, man. That wouldn't even know. Mm-hmm. Else, I think that I think that's it. Must well say, yeah, I mean, must well say the Xbox for another one because I, I, I want to make that f- to a full length podcast, man. PlayStation. We can more about PlayStation. I don't even know about PlayStation. What more do we know about PlayStation? We don't even know how it look, dude. The new rendering, yeah. They they put a rendering up, dude. I, mean, I, I heard I heard they got a new controller like. Controller thing for PlayStation is weird, like an adapter piece. They go to a PS4 <laughs> controller. It's Got like weird enough thing. We're like, why now? <laughs> it's, like, it's like weird, bro. This is what I can say too. But it's like I don't know. I guess it's supposed to be like for handicap people or something. I don't, I don't know. It, it's freaking weird. No telling. I'm gonna look at. It. Yeah. They look it up. You looking it up right now? Yeah, I'm trying to see if I can find it. I saw an article Dang. about it somewhere. I don't know where I saw that. <laughs> but yeah, what are they doing? <laughs> I don't know what y'all glass. Hey, you, uh, I've been on the lookout for us playing Punch. Oh, that's like a new free to play game. We're going to see how that works. If my PC can handle it, you can expect some uploads coming up with that. Like two sumo wrestlers fighting in the, in the open field, throwing rocks at each other and shit. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's it look fun, so if we get it together, man. We're gonna put that on YouTube. There, I just put it in there. Oh yeah, I seen it. I seen you it. Seen it. So weird, bro. What the hell? It's like they're like, why now, bro? Like the the deck and the system is over now. Why are you releasing now all the time? Whatever. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. People still gonna buy it. But I hope y'all enjoyed that episode. I ain't said nitty gritty in a while. I, I don't know. I, I gotta put a post like on my computer. Said, I, I ain't saying like four or five. I'm, I'm put a post it on my computer. You don't need to nitty gritty. So I make sure I say it every time. Man. It's, it's a trademark thing. For, I'm, I'm gonna get it copyrighted. Nitty gritty. But uh, that's weird. You can like set it to anything you want. What? It's like it's like. Two buttons on the back of it. You sit it. You put it into like the audio part, and there's two buttons on the back of where you can like make it, you can make it like the X button, L one, R one. It is L2, weird. It's like why? Who the fuck did that for? Yeah, it is weird. I don't know why. But uh, yeah, hope y'all enjoyed the episode. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, join our email list on the on the website. Check out our new articles and. Yep. The biggest thing y'all can do, man, just just make sure y'all comment on whatever y'all listening to, whatever y'all watching this on. Just go ahead and make sure y'all drop a comment. Let us know how y'all like mm-hmm. us, what we can improve on. And, you and we're looking out for the next podcast for the first segment we're going to be doing. The I don't think I'm name for it. Spooky. Spooky. <laughs> just don't even, don't even try. <laughs> Spooky. Next time, the next podcast is going to be the official one. We do it so. So basically, like every ep- at the end of every, every episode, we gonna put out like a little some lore, yeah, a little about, scary um, tale about scary gaming, tales, right. cre- creepy I think pasta, gaming, some like type of origin. Yeah, like gaming, about, yeah. TV show, cartoon, anything basically. You know, get some something, something y'all look up, look some, out for. Some for y'all, yeah. At the, end, at the end of every episode, Vance gonna be headlining in it. So I can't. I don't, I'm slurring. Vance gonna be headlining <laughs> that. So be on the lookout for it. So uh yeah. Yeah, stay good gamers. <laughs>